What's going on CFL fans? Welcome back to another video here on CFL Central. And we've got some awesome news if you're a Red Blacks fan. Well, maybe not some awesome news when you look at the contract. But still, if you're a Red Blacks fan, you lost Deadman. You don't have a lot of positives, so you better enjoy this one because you have a new starting quarterback. Jeremiah Mazzoli has signed a two-year extension, a co new contract, excuse me, with the Ottawa Red Blacks, leaving the Hamilton Tiger Cats. I believe he spent the last six years with the Tiger Cats. Actually, no, he's, he's spent. Been in he's, the, there he's, he's been there his entire 2013. Since 2013. You are correct. Yeah. I just I just loaded up his stats. You are absolutely right there, my friend. Yeah. So uh, new change of scenery, even though he's only going down the road to Ottawa. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be a good move for them. Before we jump into his stats, uh, which I will let Carter as well talk about, let's talk about the contract details. So in the first year of the contract, $432,000 is hard cash, $18,000 is playtime, $8K is in incentives, and there's a $200,000 signing bonus, which is the highest CFL signing bonus currently in the entire 200, league. $200,000 just as a bonus. Two hundred k. I thought earlier nope. I thought you said 20000 Two hundred k. Jeez. Yep. So he's being paid half of his, like, just an extra two hundred k on top of the four hundred thirty. Like, so it's a lot of money That's he's getting. Money. And then next year, because it's a two-year deal, two hundred eighty thousand, eighty-two thousand dollars is hard cash. Again, eight k for eighteen k for playing time and eight k for incentives. And uh, yeah, in terms of hard money, it's the third highest in the CFL. So very interesting there, uh, especially because Jeremiah Mazzoli has been good. But is 33 years old and on the downside of his career right now. Has not been the best yeah. in his, uh, that he's been in the past. Uh, Dane Evans took his jobs, for Christ's sake. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's questionable that they went out and gave this much cap to a guy that is, like, what do, you know, it's really hard to kind of fit him into that bubble right now because the Red Blacks, are they ready to compete again or yeah. are they not? It's really hard to say. I don't think they are, especially with the loss of Deadman, but that's going to be something yeah. we're going to have to address going into the season especially... right now. Free agency is still too fresh. How do you feel about it? Like especially in a league where see if like where quarterbacks are getting just tossed around everywhere. Like I mean, like let's take a look at this past season where I mean Bethel Thompson wasn't even starting at the start of the season until Nick Arbuckle went to Edmonton and then didn't even play. We had trade. Trevor Harris who they benched him for one game to quote unquote give him a rest and then he immediately got chipped off to Montreal and then Montreal after the, the end of their playoff run just dropped them on the side of the river. And then Cornelius comes in and people are like, what the hell is happening with him? And then Mike Riley retires. And then there was uncertainty if Caleros was going to go to the NFL. I mean, the only guy who seemed like he was going to be stuck in his place it's was Cody Fajardo. Yeah, he was the only guy that didn't. And Bo, Levi, and, and Bo Levi Mitchell. But even then, he had to restructure his whole contract just to fit Jr. it in. Because he was injured. <laughs> so, you know, That's it, it? It, it's, it, it's weird. Like, I feel like the Red Blacks were just like, you know what? We need a quarterback. Let's just sign the best one on the market, even though it might not be the best decision to sign the best one on the market yep. based off of play. That's just basically what they went out and did. So it's going to be well, one of those contracts and one of those players that you are going to need to wait and see how he fits in with the system. If the Red Blacks can maybe build a better offensive line, get some more weapons that, to surround him with, opinion, that's that's issue. what you're going to need to see like, happen from the going on from like this point if you're a Red Blacks fan. Yeah, like watching the Red Blacks this past season, one of the biggest issues they had was that offensive line because I actually thought that at the start of the season, Mac Nichols actually wasn't that bad. He was trying to do, he was trying to make do with what he had, but he didn't have much. So it's one of those things where you know you can have the greatest quarterback in the world, but if you don't have an O line who can protect him from a oh, bunch exactly. of guys running at him and gonna run this guy over, you know, I mean, it does help that you're getting a guy like. Mazzoli, who, you know, he's got a little bit of bulk to him. He can run the ball if you need to run the ball. But can you really rely on this O-line to open up those holes well, for him exactly. to, be able and to do that? You like, like, I don't know. Like, he, he did throw they for 200. He, he, he did throw for 2,445 yards this year. That and that true. seems high. And it is high. I'm not taking that away from him. But in the later half of that season, especially going into the playoffs, he was not good enough, bottom line. So I, I am hesitant about this contract from the Red Black standpoint. I don't know what was the right, smart decision right now. Um, we're going to have to wait and see. I think that Mazzoli does have something left in the tank. I just don't think you should be paying him $432,000, 430k basically average per year uh, for a guy that could be One horrible. One of those years, it's really 600k. Really, yeah. Like, and, and with the money and everything, it's just... 
I don't know. Like, he's not the same guy from 2018 who threw 28 touchdowns anymore, right? In the year 2019, he only threw 9 touchdowns, and last year he threw 10. Even with the yard total, 10 touchdowns is not good enough to be a starting quarterback in the CFL. And that's on and that's on a really solid Hamilton Tigers exactly. roster. Like, they're so very well on, built. I mean, the Red Blacks were the worst team in the league this past season. That's all I'm trying to so, say, guys. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um... But you know what? The good thing, the good thing about all these contracts is worst case scenario you have them for two years and that's it. Even though it's a lot of money, exactly. And you know what? Even in the end of the day, even if you suck, Mazzoli, Mazzoli, excuse me, is still a good, relatively good player and good quarterback. So it'll be good to have someone at least you can kind of put some faith and enjoyment into for the standpoint of watching a game. But we'd love to know your guys' thoughts on this contract. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you hesitant to like it? Are you worried about the count cap going into this into Mazzoli? Let us know all your thoughts down in the comment section below as always. If you are a fan of the CFL, regardless of the team that you root for, definitely drop a subscription as we are trying to cover all the news that we can regarding all nine teams in this wonderful league we have in the Great White North. So with all that being said, check us out on Twitter and Instagram and check out all the other affiliated links in the description below. Comment your thoughts on this contract and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and positivity as always from both me and Carter to you. Have a good day as I've already said it and bye-bye.